Good morning YouTubers, I hope you can't hear too much of that traffic, it's a bit busy out there. Now the subject for this morning seems to be gun control in the United States. Now this has always been an issue and there's always uh, people who are anti-gun and there's people who are pro-gun and it's never really going to get anywhere, that argument. I don't think we need to dwell on it too much. You see the reason that uh, it was written into the Constitution in the first place was because the, the King of England was busy exploiting everybody in uh, what's now the United States of America. They were going around taxing everybody, kicking people's doors in, beating people up, and doing all kinds of nonsense. And so it's ingrained in their Constitution that they have the right to defend themselves, the right to bear arms. And I think there's so many responsible gun owners in the United States who would kick off big time if you tried to ban firearms, and that's not going to happen ever. You know, there'll be so many people getting shot, I think. Cops and uh, responsible gun owners, it's just going to cause too many problems because they won't give up their right, they won't. It's not going to happen. But at the same time, you've got to be responsible. You know, you can't have people going around killing people. Now back in the day, don't forget, these guns were single shot, they were muskets and they were um, single shot pistols and as guns evolved, firepower increased and uh, you have to have the right to defend yourself. The right to bear arms is obviously aimed at the King of England, isn't it? I mean, no one's suggesting the King of England is going to invade the United States but that's an example of why this law came into being and uh, if the King of England hypothetically wanted to invade the United States again he would his army would be carrying assault rifles okay and machine guns and so that is the level that you're at that you required to have at least the same as any potential invading army so you're never going to win with that argument. You're never going to say, oh, let's just disarm ourselves and then when the King of England comes, he can just shoot us, can't he? That, that argument will never win. I don't believe it'll ever win in the United States and they have the right. But there's also another twist to the story and that's um, people who are unstable in the head. Well, there's lots of people that are unstable in the head. Should they have firearms? No, of course not. But should they be have a car should they have a, a big stick or a knife or a sword anything you know a hammer an axe anything of these things you can pick up in a hardware store you know you've got to get a sensible perspective on it and if, if there's a threat then you have to come up with security measures to counter the threat you can't take away like the look at look at the law in england now it's so messed up you know, you can't even have swords anymore. You know, samurai swords are banned, especially Chinese imports. Any, any sword with a curved blade, unless it's a proper antique, they're all banned. You can't even have it hanging on the wall in your house in case you kill somebody with it because you might be unstable. They tried banning knives because there's a lot of stabbings going on in the UK because gun laws are so strict. Lots of people carry knives and they, they brought out a ban on combat knives. So if you got run through with a big kitchen knife, you'd go, oh, thank God for that, it's only a kitchen knife. I thought for a minute it, it was a combat knife, so I thought I, wouldn't, I was in trouble then. You know, unfortunately the people who make laws are, are not really criminals, are they? They're squeakies and they think, hey, the criminal won't be able to operate if we revoke his licence. <laughs> Take away his driving licence and he'll never be a bank robber's getaway driver, will he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he might be in for penalty points. You know, these people just don't think, do they? They don't think. And until people start waking up and thinking properly, then uh, you're never going to solve anything. Thanks for watching.